through the season, doing more hard workouts at a higher pace, really kind of made my time get better. And I don't know, everyone's time was kind of slow today. I don't know if it was the humidity or what, but yeah. Obviously, Coach Beats have has a lot of uh, good workouts. You guys have a lot of tradition at Nottoway Valley. For you guys to continue that tradition, what's it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. The tradition's always been a thing here, and yeah, just to not be the ones that let it go down are pretty good. As you guys go through to state, obviously you, you had a good run today. You mentioned the times were a little down. Do you feel it because it was of certain conditions, or, or what do you think it was from? Yeah, I feel it was conditions because we ran here about a week ago, and times were significantly faster. Yeah, it was pretty humid, hard to breathe. It's about water. Sorry if you guys were already asked this, but you know you guys going back there. Um, what, what's the feeling for you guys going back, trying to maybe improve on some times from the year prior? It means a lot. Uh, just excited to continue the tradition and not be the ones that let it go down. Y'all get to go, but you look at the girl counterparts. I guess how tough is that from, from y'all's perspective to see them not be able to make it? And it's horrible because they went through the same training we did and all the hard workouts and just don't even get a shot to try to go. It's really good. It really sucks. And, you know, it's a it's a controversial topic if they should even be quarantined, you know. We kind of ran for them today. They came. They were qualifiers last year, came off POI champs, and then they didn't get to run the Mount Air Invitational. But, you know, it's just odd year. But, so, you know, we ran for the program. We're always running for the program. How much was the thought of, uh, you know, that second place POI finish? Maybe you guys trying to avenge some of the some of the guys you finished behind from, uh, from a couple days ago. Yeah, that's tough. Um, that one hit pretty hard. You know, 16 out of the last 17 years, we won that meet, and we go into there and we get second by short. So you know, we came back into Mount Air, the Invitational, and we saw some of the same individuals, and we we went to work. What's the next couple of days going to look like for you guys and prep for uh, for next week? Uh, rest. We're going to take a couple days easier and do a long run, and then we'll hit it hard a couple more times before state. Cool. How much from the meet from last week did you guys take to this week out there? Uh, we try to run the same exact thing every year. I think it's the same system. B's going for 45 years almost. It's the same thing basically every We know it's coming. We just try to push and just get better times from last week or year or whatever. So we just keep on pushing and have a lot of thoughts in mind from last season getting second and going after Earlham this year and everything like that um, but we're just trying to qualify and I think we hopefully I think we did as a team and us three did individually but yeah it's basically the same thing and next week will be the same as it always been just continue to keep the tradition going. You guys ran in a pack were you trying to pace each other or was it just sort of trying to pace the, the leader for you guys? Uh, we run together in practice every day I mean the workouts are spread out we always but yeah we're workout partners so we always get after each other to run harder and push each other. Yes, sir.